This is Mr. Gamble. It's Thursday, the 7th of April, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the 250 at Aintree, and the horse we're interested in is Q Card. Now, here's a confession. I absolutely love Q Card. Always have. Um, I've also always thought that um, his breathing uh, may be an issue. Um, so I'm absolutely over the moon that they got to the bottom of that um, and have solved it for this year. Um, have backed him heavily for all his three wins this year, um, even against Vortor. Um, didn't think that three mile two furlongs around Cheltenham um, is his trip. Um, still don't think he would have won the Gold Cup, even if he hadn't fallen. Um, so readily selected Don Cossack uh, that day for the Gold Cup um, and uh, would continue to do so. But over three miles on a flat track, um, it doesn't necessarily need cut, but even better if there is a little bit of cut. Um, I believe he is the best there is um, and uh, and would have given um, even the likes of Corto Star a, uh, a hell of a run for their money um, if the breathing issue had been found sooner. Um, Jackadam needs every yard of three miles. Um, you know, even three miles two furlongs looks on the short side for him. Wouldn't be surprised to see him in the uh, national next year. Um, Don Poli has shown nothing whatsoever to suggest he is anywhere near as good as Q Card, um, and neither has anything else in the field. Um, so I firmly believe that unless Q Card's jumping lets him down. Um, could do with Paddy Brennan just being a little bit more patient at the fences um, I think he wins um, and uh, with that in mind uh, 5 to 4 is a great price so Q card 250 at Aintree